Well, a beautiful photo exhibit there. But now let's take a look at the other arts and cultural scenes here in Korea. And of course, our Im Yoon Hee joins me live in the studio. So, Yoon Hee, um, from the title of your piece, I see no more art. Mm -hmm. I wonder what that means. It's a very interesting art exhibition, actually. So, we have a lot of beautiful galleries here in Seoul. You know, I love to go take a visit, but they can become a bit monotonous. But I found a couple of art galleries that show some work from artists who really push the boundaries of art to create a very unique art experience. Experience. Take a look. The song, Lucky Soul, filled the streets of Korea in 1948, after Korea's freedom. And they fill the streets again. The No More Art exhibition brings a unique art experience to its audience. The many participants here act out the daily scenes of Korea decades ago, both the lives of the artists and the everyday people as well. Some of Korea's earliest and most popular Western-style artists came from that time period. And while their artworks have been accessible before, this art gallery provides a unique opportunity to see the source of each artist's inspiration. Such as artist Pak Su Gun, known as the wash place artist, and as one of Korea's legendary self-taught painters. His life, as well as the life of others during this time period, is recreated in these halls. Along with the founder of Video Arts Works, Pek Nam Joon, and other well known Korean and foreign artists. But for a different kind of art experience, artist Lee Hyung Gu's unique performance is not your everyday gallery piece. He's guided by science and inspired by art. And artist Chung Ji Hyun's piece, Distant Rhythm, displays a long, dark piece of graphite. They're just two of the seven rookie artists chosen to be put on display, along with their seven peer art advisors. All artists who have been chosen for their talent and for their potential in contemporary art. While we're planning this exhibition, we have to always keep in mind that the target is the artist. We want to understand the artist and their work. You know, Yunhee, uh, contemporary and modern art is something mm -hmm. that's uh, very available to us here in Seoul. But, mm -hmm. you know, uh, for me personally, it's something that, um, that I have a hard time understanding, especially with those uh, very abstract pieces. Right, and you're not alone in that. Um, but luckily, there is also another gallery that's showing a hundred, over 100 different works from 53 different artists that span across the 20th century, uh, which is a major time period in modern and contemporary art. And so some of these artists range from Monet, Picasso, Warhol, uh, to even to Damien Hirst, and so these are all major contributors to that time period of modern and contemporary art. So you can kind of see uh, how art changed through the time, and so a very unique art gallery to, to go and check out. Right, right, and um, you know, you got to tell us where is this exhibition being held at? Oh, they are holding this at the Opera Gallery here in Seoul, and so. Uh, Definitely one you want to check out. It's going to be here for the rest of the year. And so they did take a tour around Korea, and you definitely want to catch it while it's still in the country. Right, right. And, and, th and uh, these kind of exhibitions, it's something that you can go and check it out more than once, and mm -hmm. it will bring to you a whole, whole different experience every time you go, right? Right. All right, Yunhi. Well, thank you for that report, and we will see you tomorrow. See you then.